Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today we have yet another Humble Bundle because, of course we do. They are doing non-stop bundles right now because they're doing something called the Best of 2024 Bundles, where they're bringing back, well, the best-selling bundles of 2024. And the nice thing is, game developers are being featured heavily. So if you missed some of the best bundles this year, you've got an opportunity to pick them up. Now today's is all about Godot. It was this bundle launched back on April the 18th called Learn to Make Games in Godot 4. This is Game Dev TV. I very much like their stuff, and you're going to notice is one thing that's changed with these bundles, not only do you only have a little bit over two days to pick them up, on top of that, uh, there are no tiers anymore. So the first time we had these various different tiers, now you're just going to have the $25 tier with all of the stuff in it. But you got some cool stuff here. You've got a Godot 4 shader course, mastering mobile development with Godot 4 from concept to app store, the game, the Godot game controller. Uh, this is an asset, by the way, but it still has instructions to go with it. And then we complete 2D course, complete 3D course, the action adventure course for 2.5D RPGs, the multi player course, uh, and then a couple more asset packs. So it's a great bundle if you did not pick it up the first time. I do highly like Game Dev TV stuff. We're going to go hands-on with it in just a second. First, I'm going to show you all of the other stuff Humble have going on right now. So right now, this is the previous one right here. Uh, this is going to be just a few more hours when this goes live, but the Best of Cinti number 2 Remix bundle is out there, but they also launched a couple of more. These aren't limited time offer bundles. These are just bundles because, hey, game developers, give us your money. Now, the first one here is a rerun of the CG Cookie Bundle. This came out, uh, um, I think, September-ish. Uh, this looks like the, basically the same thing, only one tier this time, which is $25 USD, and it's a number of Blender courses. Mesh modeling, digital sculpting, lighting, material and shading, textures, animations, and rigging, and it looks like they've added to physics and compositing as well. So if you want to learn from uh, CG Cookie, this course bundle is here as well. Again, this one is not limited time, so this goes on for quite a while, but I will have a link to it down below if you want to go ahead and help support Game From Scratch. And then the other one we got here is this one. This is the Ultimate Unreal Mega Bundle. Now, this one is uh, new. Uh, this literally just launched at the same time as this rerun. I will have a dedicated video one up about this one tomorrow morning, so stay tuned, probably 9 or 10 Eastern time. I will have one here. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get into this one because, as you can see, there are 106 assets in this Unreal Engine bundle. That's a lot. Uh, it's Decagon uh, and a couple of other creators as well, so Fresh Can and so on. We've had a number of these in the past, so there could be some replication for sure, but you're talking 105 assets at the top tier. So again, this one is a bundle that has some time left in it. Uh, so since I have some time to deal with that one, I will you know, download some of these assets tonight, get hands on, give you an idea what it's like. That will be available tomorrow, but I will also have a link to this bundle down below again if you want to help support Game from Scratch, and thank you if you do. So all right, now we are at Game Dev TV. Now, if you've never used Game Dev TV before or you haven't used them in quite a while, they actually did a complete facelift on their site. I like Game Dev TV's content, to be honest. So here I am, logged into my account. We're going to head on down here to all products, and what I'm going to do is say, Goodell. And you're going to find all of the basically Godot courses are available here. So you'll notice one thing that they do, and I actually quite like this about them, is if it's old, they archive it. So uh, everything you're seeing here is current. So all of this stuff is for Godot 4. Uh, so it should be, uh, you know, great to learn from because it should be up to date. Now, one thing you're going to notice is we have this guy right here. This is actually an asset. Uh, so this is a character controller you can download and use in your own project. You can download it right here. But even then, there are still a number of uh, videos that basically walk you through how to use it and how it's created and so on. But let's jump into one of the courses as an example. Let's say you want to learn about uh, the 2D, uh, 2.5D action RPG template. By the way, the original video for this is still available, and I actually open up all of the project files that go with this um, project. So you're doing, in this particular case, it's 2D sprites on a 3D background, which is what makes it 2.5D. But you see, the video for the course is over here. Uh, you do have a Q&A section over here. You have uh, resources that are available for it if they are relevant. They do something really nice on Game Dev TV, though, that I want to point out here. So as you're going through it, so let's say I move on to this part right here in the course. Uh, so again, code, super clean. They always have it zoomed in so you can read it and understand it. It does track where you are. So if you're going through the lectures like this, it will find you where you are in the process, which is nice. But what they do that I really like is this. So as you're going through it, if you go to the resource section at the bottom, they actually have uh, an open source project here. So on uh, GitLab, which by the way, I think you can go ahead and download this stuff uh, even if you don't have access to the course. So if you wanna go ahead and check it out. But as they make changes to the source file, as you're going through it, they have all of the commits. 
So you can start with the project at the very beginning. You could just go ahead and clone the project and see the end result if you want, but they have it so that as you are progressing through the course step by step, uh, you can jump to just the, the changes in the pull request to that particular version. So if you are following it yourself, and it's a good idea to follow these courses yourself, by the way, because you've developed muscle memory a little bit better. Even if you're just typing in something from someone else's screen, it tends to help you learn, to be honest, to type it in yourself. But at any point in time, so if I snap forward quite a ways here, boom, again, we have an update to the changes here. So you could clone that repository down and start from there. So if, if you diverge or something didn't work for you, whatever, you can snag it at any particular point in time in the development life cycle. It's something they do that I actually quite appreciate. And again, there is persistence. So it will remember where you are in the lecture. So you come back later on, you resume where you were. So uh, quite nice that way. Game Dev TV did just uh, switch their teaching platform. I'm curious if you've used Game Dev TV before and now, what do you think of the new changes? But again, their course tend to be quite good. I ask that question every time. What do you guys think of them? And generally, Game Dev TV are among the most popular uh, from you guys anyways. But let me know in the comments down below if you've gone through any of these courses. You can help other people out by giving your answer on what you think of these. So that is the Learn to Make Games in Godot for Game Dev TV Humble Bundle. Uh, again, it's only available for a little bit over 48 hours. Also, the Cinti one is ending right now. And we also have the other bundles going on. So Cinti, a couple of hours left if you want to pick that one up. Uh, and then, of course, they brought back the Corel bundle if you're interested. This one is still running. They launched this new CG Cookie bundle right here if you want to learn about um, Blender. And then, of course, we have the new Unreal Mega bundle, which I will cover tomorrow. So yeah, definitely a lot of humble coverage. Hopefully uh, we get back to normal soon, but hopefully you guys find this guys this stuff useful. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all of these bundles. And again, stay tuned tomorrow for details on this Unreal Mega Bundle, which I will have a link to down below if you want to check it out early. All right, thank you. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.